Hello, everyone, and once again, thank you for joining me here. All during his too short span on our planet, my dear friend Anthony McLean would jokingly play tricks on us, attempting to convince us that two very different actors were actually one and the same person. Take, for example, Burt Reynolds and Tom Selleck. Even after we made our definitive point that they were indeed two distinctly different people, Tony would nod negatively and pose this question. Did you ever see them in the same room together? But I digress. Well, actually, I'll take that back. For this time, at least, I rescind my digression because I myself might have convincingly tricked some naive cinephile regarding actors John Kerr and Gloria Graham. Except, of course, that Mr. Kerr and Miss Graham did indeed appear in the same room together in Vincent Minnelli's 1955 film version of the William Gibson novel The Cobweb. A more convincing argument for me to have made might have been that they were siblings, if not twins. You see, they both shared the most beautifully world-weary almond-shaped eyes. But I digress. I really do this time. Or did. And progress to a year later and another Vincent Minnelli film, his 1956 adaptation of Robert Anderson's 1953 play, Tea and Sympathy. I find that there's a mysterious melding of yin and yang to be found in Mr. Kerr as Tom, the character at the center of the film's activity. That same duality could, of course, be said of Miss Graham in any number of her own films. But John and Gloria, if I may be familiar for a moment, were not entirely knowable in any of their film characterizations. They often appeared a bit covered and introspective as they explored the skins of all those characters that they temporarily resided inside of. Which brings me once again to Tea and Sympathy and John Kerr's co-star, Deborah Carr. Same spelling, different pronunciation. There's a teasing sexual ambiguity to be found here. And as a bisexual man, director Minnelli takes excellent advantage of this situation. Watching Deborah Carr and John Kerr share intimacies in Tea and Sympathy is akin to watching two people endlessly reflecting each other. We're witness to a constant array of sensitive patterns as they attempt to come to some kind of an understanding about themselves and their roles as men and women. From Stonewall and even up to today, Tea and Sympathy has been, I believe, unjustly vilified and pointed to as an example of cultural homophobia, but I disagree. In fact, I strongly disagree. The play, first and foremost, is about persecution and its effect on those who are experiencing a crisis of identity. It was my first introduction to my own formative identity, and for so many of us who've experienced a hateful outsider's response to our burgeoning and often confusing sexual development, it was an extremely important film. The character of Tom, as played between the lines by Mr. Kerr, is deeply sensitive and somewhat sexually ambiguous. It's never quite clear who or what he believes himself to be. But it is quite clear that as an easy target for the bullying testosterone that's so apparent in the film, Kerr's personal brand on Tom's character was something easily identified and shared by many of us. Tea and Sympathy remains, in the context of its time, a moving account of those who are victims of society's fears and a still potent example of society's continuing attempts to suppress what it chooses not to understand. And as for those deeply felt, almond-shaped eyes of John Kerr's, they penetrate to the heart and soul of the matter still. Until next time, be well and stay engaged. Bye-bye for now.